anything. You ever have a subject that you're learning and it just seems to go way over your head? Of course to really get a grasp of the subject, you really have to pay attention, right? But for some reason, your attention keeps getting lost during the lesson. It's like all these dots around you and they're just not connecting. Is it because the subject is just extremely boring? Is it because the concept is just so intricate and so beyond your level of comprehension that you're just unable to grasp it? Well, one thing's for sure is we all learn at different paces. So there is going to be a reason why you have to say something to a person 10 times that you may only have to say twice to another before they get it before that light goes off in their head. Which is incidentally not a light bulb. It's actually an electrical impulse, which we'll talk about later. So while it may be true that some people just have an affinity for learning certain things more than others, there is still a process that everyone has to undergo. I like to use muscle building as a comparison. So, you decide you want to start building muscle. You start training, you got your gym in your garage, your weights, and you're ready to start building some muscle. Of course, everyone builds muscle differently. We all have different body structures and types. So, it may take some longer to get the same results than others. We are only working to be the next best versions of our authentic selves anyway. Yet, regardless of whatever your body type is, there's still going to be a starting point. Because reaching a goal takes discipline and drive. In this case, the word drive implies motion. It implies turning potential energy into kinetic energy. It's about taking the necessary steps toward the goal. It's about acting on that potential. It's about initiating that impulse. The very first part of the process is simple. You just have to begin. Now, that beginning may very well be easy at first and challenging later. That beginning may very well occur some point outside of your comfort zone. Make no mistake about it, anyone who has ever achieved greatness has had to begin somewhere. What time do you begin? I can see how most world-class people begin their days before the sun rises. You take somebody like, let's say, Simone Biles, who's a world-class gymnast. Do you think she begins her day before or after the sun rises? I mean, who really likes to get up out of their bed before the sun? It can be absolutely frustrating if you don't wake up with your eyes on the prize. She chose a life of discipline. She put in the necessary work to get where she is today. So, to get there, you are going to have to put in work. You are going to have to do reps of whatever the exercise may be. Because repetition is the key. Practice is basically another form of repetition. I stress repetition because it is the key to building muscle. Repetition is the key to building muscle memory. Repetition is the key to building memory. The drive is also needed to navigate the ups and downs. How well do you accept not winning? Do you allow failure to get in your way? Are you receptive to the necessary resistance that's needed to build you up? Sometimes we need naysayers. Sometimes we need people to tell us that we can't do something. Do you take that as motivation to fuel your fire to your success? 
Or does that fire burn your house down? The drive will have you welcoming your challenges. Take a person like Steph Curry. He is known for his amazing shooting range. He probably shoots the ball, what, 11 hours a day? Sometimes he shoots it and walks away, knowing it's gonna fall, right? Now, I'm pretty sure he doesn't just shoot the ball, well, from the three-point line because his last name is Curry. So, how many practice shots from beyond the line do you think Steph Curry has to take before he masters it? I'm betting the first time you saw him take that three-point shot from way beyond the three-point line wasn't the first time he took that shot. Imagine what it was like in that gym when that shot was first beginning to fall. I can assure you that it wasn't on net at first. So there was a process. And that process does not begin with immediate success. The more reps he takes, the more those shots will start to fall. And after they did begin to fall automatically, imagine the physical changes his brain went through to accommodate that shot. How many reps before the subconscious mind starts to access the automated muscle memory? This is all by a way of repetition, which enhances your synaptic efficiency. So, the physiology of learning has two phases. Let's take a look at phase one of long-term potentiation. So, as we know, memories are formed in the structure of the brain called the hippocampus. When we look at the synapses of the hippocampus, we see presynaptic and postsynaptic neurons. When the presynaptic neurons release the neurotransmitter glutamate into the synapse, they bind into two specific ion channels called AMPA and NMDA. What makes these ion channels special is that they change chemical messengers into electronic impulses. So, glutamate binds to AMPA and NMDA and lets the sodium into the AMPA channels. And once sodium comes in, there's an influx of positive, of positive ions. And once, pos and once the sodium comes in, it's really, really positive. So this thing right here that's blocking the NMDA channels, it's called magnesium. And it gets expelled because it's way too positive and it needs a negative charge. So the magnesium is expelled and leaves. So all gone, right? And once the magnesium is expelled, there's an influx of calcium and sodium. So calcium acts as a secondary messenger and creates a cascade. In other words, calcium enters the cell and pretty much designates tasks to kinase enzymes. And so these kinase enzymes basically function to ensure a high frequency of sodium influx which keeps the cell excited. So the influx of sodium increases the strength of the signal enough to accomplish phase one of long-term potentiation. And so like muscle building, the ultimate goal in long-term potentiation is to create some kind of physical change, or in this case, achieve neuroplasticity. If you do a lot of workout reps, you're going to want some muscle growth, right? Well, the same goes for learning. The second phase of long-term potentiation is the formation of what we call structural plasticity. During the process of long-term potentiation, you undergo new RNA and protein synthesis. So these repeated synaptic transmissions are able to stimulate changes in gene expression. On a cellular level, one may notice more AMPA channels on the postsynaptic neurons, as well as more developed dendritic spines. So these two specialized changes are designed to boost synaptic efficiency. So memories are basically stored as charges 
in your synaptic connections. So practicing something at a high frequency causes the synapses to become more efficient due to physical changes that occur in the brain through long-term potentiation. And that is what practice does. I'm not speaking to you to inspire you today to become the next Steph Curry. I'm here to challenge you to learn something new and apply it to your life. It could be learning that recipe that you never even thought to recreate. It could be learning to change your own oil or maybe learning to change brakes. It could be learning how to mount a television or install flooring. It could be learning how to make soap, candles, or even beauty products. Challenge yourself to learn something new and apply it to your life. You're never too young or too old to learn something new. That old saying about teaching an old dog's new tricks is a myth. And stop being afraid to fail. You can overcome the fear of failure. Consider your failures to be learning moments. I always love the saying, I never lose. I either win or I learn. So I encourage you to keep at it. Keep practicing. Practice is a prerequisite of perfection. So wake up in the morning ready to act on that potential. Wake up ready to motivate. Ready to continue to grow as a person. And just remember, your brain is able to change as you learn. You can learn anything.